Hey guys, it's Matt here. Today I'm doing another episode of Matt Rants. So, if you're watching this right now, you're thinking, wait a minute, I can see your face, Matt. I never see your face. Assuming you only listen or watch Matt Rants, you're like, I never see your face. What's going on? Well, we're talking about a special topic today. But before we get into what topic that is, I wanted to tell you guys that this episode is the 100th episode of Matt Rand's Q Confetti We Can't Afford. How amazing is that, right? I've been doing this a 100 times, and for some reason that matters. But another reason why I want to do this on camera is because of the fact that this, uh, we're going to cut to some footage that I took outside of my home, so I thought about it and I was like, why well, cut from game footage to this footage? If we're going to have a special story time episode of Matt Rand's, because that's what this was going to be, well, might as well just have my beautiful face on camera telling you guys the story, talking about what's going on. So if you guys don't no. Uh, the PS1 Classic came out and everyone was apathetic. Maybe some people didn't like it, but at most people were apathetic. Now, no, people actually liked it. And to be fair, I don't think it's a complete pile of trash. I did a review on it. You guys can go check that out. But it definitely has had some issues selling consoles, uh, perhaps, or selling units. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this Matt Rants is because there was something that I didn't want to let be a misconception, and I didn't want to let this kind of uh, be in the history books without hearing my take on it and my experience. So, what happened? Well, the price of the PS1 Classic went down, some people say dramatically, I say not so dramatically, but here's what ended up happening. So, first off, this is before I even leave my house, I see people talking about the fact that the PS1 Classic is on Amazon for $75 instead of its $100 price point. Some people go, oh, this shows that clearly it's not doing so hot, clearly it's not doing well, everyone hates it, so they're trying to get rid of, get rid of units. But here's the thing, around the holiday season, everything is on sale. And I'm talking about everything, no matter what medium you're looking at, no matter what store you're looking at. Yes, you could say they're trying to get stock, you know, out of, uh, excess stock out of uh, their inventory, but still there are sales for pretty much anything. I bought a bunch of stuff around the holiday season, not just video game related, because there were sales. So I don't think that $75 on Amazon for the PlayStation Classic uh, is so bad. Now, yes, there was a $25 Amazon gift card added onto that, which again, some people are like, so it's basically 50 bucks. But again, you can't use the $25 gift card on that one item in particular. Also, I didn't want to buy it off Amazon. By the way, if you're wondering, well, wait, why would you want to buy it? Don't you already have it? I actually, if you guys can see any of the reviews or the PS1 Week stuff, I don't have it. A friend and contributor of the channel named Satish Ram actually bought it for us to use, and he's going to take it and be sad with it at his home at his leisure. But I was wondering how cheap could I actually get this thing? So, uh, it was technically 50 bucks if you want to say, but really 75 bucks on Amazon. But then, and I'm going to link this down below if you're watching this on a YouTube channel, you can see in the description box down below, uh, that there is a, a tweet from Nintendrew. And Nintendrew, really cool YouTuber, definitely check out his stuff, I really enjoy his stuff. He was talking about how other people were giving their, like, their testimonials, essentially, saying, uh, I actually got this from Target for, like, 35 bucks. And people were like, wait, what? And I think what ended up happening was, because of this, uh, happening for, like, a good two, three days, people were really talking about this, they were putting this in their videos, and they were saying, well, this is the death of the PS1 Classic, and they were acting as if this was legit. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying that nobody out there got a uh, PS1 Classic from Target for $35. They definitely did. But the problem is, is that that actually wasn't supposed to happen. So I want to make sure that you guys hear my story about picking up a PS1 Classic from Target and know that this sadly was not the norm. And here's why that is. So if you're like me and you downloaded Target's app and you searched up the PlayStation Classic, you'll notice that it is $60, not $100. Now I think that's actually a better deal, especially if you're getting free shipping, a much better deal than the Amazon price because while it is coming to your door and you are getting a $25 Amazon gift card, still I would prefer taking something off of the actual sale itself instead of potential future sales. So $60, not bad. What people ended up doing was at the time, and now this sale is, is done and gone, but at the time, I believe it was the 26th to the, uh, to the 28th of December, people were able to use something called Cartwheel. Cartwheel is actually, I think, a really smart way of getting people to try to come into the store, whatever uh, target is local near you, and you can actually use the app and say, hey, I want to Cartwheel this, and I want to get this on sale. And you could argue that if there's a sale on Cartwheel and not one from their website itself, it's actually a really good deal, and it's a very smart way to get people into the store, okay? But here's the problem. 
people were going to Target and saying, hey, can you price match on my phone and use Cartwheel? And the problem is, is that Target was not supposed to do this. So personally, I didn't know that they weren't supposed to do this. So I go to my local Target with the Cartwheel, uh, with the app open, with Cartwheel open. And I actually, as you can see right now, I'm showing you all the different PlayStation 1 classics they had on display. They might have more in the back. I tried to ask someone if they've sold that many, but he really wasn't... Uh, he wasn't a bad guy. He was just kind of like, uh, like it was really hard. Like I, didn't want, I didn't want to say, hey, I'm doing this for a video, but I was just trying to just ask a simple question. Just, hey, have you sold that many? And he was like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, around this time of year. And I was like, okay, this is okay. So a very nice guy. Really did a lot to help me to try to get me uh, to someone that could help me with the situation. He was really nice, but definitely was. It was very hard getting some info from him uh, when it came to the PlayStation Classic in his store. So, uh, either way though, what ended up happening is they were confused, just like I was confused. I was like, can this actually happen? Like, I was being legit with them. I was like, can I actually do this? And one of them said out loud, and I will never forget this, they said, we have been doing it, but we're technically not supposed to. So I should have said, so give it to me for, for $35. But technically, even though it is considered price matching, they're price matching themselves, so it's two separate sales. They aren't combined into one another. So anyone who got a PlayStation Classic for $35 at Target, you got lucky. It was a fluke, and I hope that the person that sold it to you, I hope they're doing okay, I hope they weren't let go. Because technically they're not supposed to do that. Because I saw two employees, one get on the phone with their manager saying, am I allowed to do this, is this okay? And this other guy, Look, I'm sure he's a nice person, but I'm looking at him and I'm like, stop giving me a look like I'm trying to fleece you. Maybe you should actually say on your app specifically or on a website or something that these two sales are not one and the same. Because why are you going to try to get people to come into your store, but then say, oh, no, 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 it's 40% off on cartwheels, so it's $60, when I could just stay at home and do that anyway? That's a pretty dumb sale. I got to be honest with you guys. It's really dumb to try to do that. Because why would I not just stay at home then? Because with travel costs, I had to pay costs, you know, to get there by train. But again, I wanted to tell you guys a story just because I want to make sure that people know. And I look, I don't know how many people are going to be watching this video, but please share this video around if you hear people talking about the fact that, uh, you know, the P PS1 Classic at Target went for 35 bucks. Please tell them that, look, it wasn't supposed to. Maybe a few lucky people actually got out with one because anyone who was like me who went, I, I think I went a day before the sale was done or the day that the sale was done they were they were giving them away at 60 and they were giving well giving them away they were selling them for 60 and the reason why they were selling them for 60 was because that was the deal it was either 60 online uh because it's 40 dollars off or 40 percent off of a hundred dollar product in store it's 60 irregardless now i'm sure some of you guys are like but did you actually pick up a ps1 classic would you actually do something that's stupid i mean dude you were going to get one for 35 that's a good deal but getting one at 60 was that really the best idea and i and i have to say I don't think it was a good idea, and that's why I actually picked one up. But here's the thing. Here's why. Stop looking at me like that. Stop. Why would I pick one of these up when I've already done the review? I've already talked about it. Even if it's hackable, why would I pick one up? Well, the reason why is because if I did this entire video and I didn't tell you guys or I didn't show you guys that I actually picked one up and I didn't have a receipt for it, you wouldn't believe me. So I want to make sure that all of you guys know that I am, in fact, telling the truth. I got this 12 28 2018 and the price that i got it for was 65 dollars look at that that is real all of that is accurate and by the time this video has come out i've probably returned this because i realized that i probably don't need this but but i'll wait for it to go even cheaper but at the same time, I knew that creating this video and talking about this was an important topic. And maybe to some people it doesn't in the grand scheme of things, but I just want to make sure that people remember and people know that this was a mistake by Target and that they weren't actually sitting back like, oh, clearly they're making so much money or clearly they're taking a bath on these. These were a few that were just sold by accident. That's just how it worked. I didn't get lucky. You guys maybe did. Tell me if you did down below. I would love to hear stories about that. If you did get one for 35 or if you got one for 60 
And look, I want to say this too. We've been making jokes about the PS1 Classic, but again, I did a review on the PS1 Classic. I actually don't think it's that garbage. And if you like the PS1 Classic, I'm really happy to hear it. I'm really happy to hear that you actually bought one and you've enjoyed your experience with it. I've, I've brought some people over. My experiences have been a little iffy with it, but if you're enjoying it, then that's what matters. All right, so thank you all so much for watching another video. If you liked the video, please remember to like and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, you can still like and subscribe either way. And you can also dislike and subscribe. That You can do that too, it's fine. I won't judge you for hate watching, that's cool. Uh, either way, thank you all so much for watching another video, watching our 100th video. Hopefully we do this for 100 more. All right guys, so tune in next time for another episode of Matt Rants. All right guys, so see ya.